up people of the world thank you guys for all your support to my blog and us today good morning to all of you good evening wherever you are in this entire whole world have a blessed day to all of you i am your host alicia mello and today we are back in the whole road and this road is not the dalton whole road but it's in the elliot highway this is also uh, connected to the dalton whole road this is belongs to 500 miles of our trip going up there in the oil field of the probably dead horse alaska mm -hmm. as you can see there's a uh, construction a company that are fixing the road uh, because it is already summer and we are going up here and soon it's our turn to go and ladies and gentlemen continue and keep up to support my blog keep on tuning in because i will gonna give you a lot of uh, good today a lot of howling and action along the road of all the heavy truck howlers uh, massive howling long time fuel you know all the heavy howlers along the road and of course the, all the heavy equipment that are fixing the road renovating the road and of course the maintenance as you can see guys there's a lot of heavy equipment that are you know using to fix the road and to make it very good and make it wider as uh, of course and right now we are following this pilot car you know she's the one who's leading us because at the moment you know the construction is ongoing you cannot go you know you need to wait so it takes about 30 minutes to one hour before we can go that is so you know making us delayed in our howling that is uh, the reason why it takes about 15 to 16 hours before we reach the dead horse probably so that is just fine but the problem is there's so many roads right now that are bumpy there's a lot of holes it's a bumpy that is why and some of the road are not yet totally fixed there's a lot of you know sharp rocks and that is why there's a lot of trucks also that you know blown out the pile so we need to be very careful of that and as you can see guys it's totally uh, summer in this area but of course on the other side of the african pass is still winter here there of course and here is just fine it's sunny it's dusty because the road is not paved so but hopefully they are making this one become beautiful so hopefully all the howlers will be happy after the end of this uh, uh, summer but you know the most important guys is the summer because you know most of the time all the howlers are keep on complaining about the road and shout out also to the governor of the alaska governor dan levy for this uh, you know and of course the dot you know guys the road is sucks it's really disastrous and you know there are some of course you know how was track I shout out also to all of you because you need to pay your radio first guys because there are some hidden you know road that it really needs to call first before you pass by so before we were gonna tackle that one we were gonna see this one guys you know they are this is in the Elliot Highway. They are fixing this one. I think this is their last year. You know, every, I think, 50 miles or 20 miles, there are some, you know, company that are fixing. But right now, from, you know, Elliot Highway going to the horse, only two companies that are fixing right now. This one is in the Elliot Highway, 50 miles of the Elliot Highway. And of course, they're in 20 miles of the Dalton Hall Road. So guys, continue to watch and I hope you will gonna enjoy the scenery along this Alaska, along the north of Alaska. You will not regret because it's really so beautiful guys. And thank you so much. Once again, keep tuning in as I will gonna give you more of the excitement, you know, show and action along the whole road. And of course, you know, different kinds of roads is very challenging. And yeah but it's dusty and it's bumpy so but you know you can still see a lot of action howlers along this road so thank you
you so much and keep tuning in Alicia Mello here your host of the Alaska Trackers God bless and keep it up guys you know subscribing and of course watching my videos all the time So right now we are almost done with this pilot uh, car and every day I think you know if I'm not mistaken they are making you know three miles every day three miles fixing the road or five miles fixing the road so as you can see every how many meters or you know miles there's a lot of equipment that are fixing but of course you know the pilot car going up there and going back uh, it's only one because uh, and both you know north side and the south side there is a flaggers there so you need to wait there until the pilot car will arrive you know to the north side and of course to the south side so once that you know we arrive there in the north side of this pilot car you know there's already a lot of trucks that are queuing up there so as, as you can see guys they are making and of course there's a lot of equipment here in alaska but lacking of the people so that is why you know it's hard for them to finish right away but as you can see they, it's so amazing how they were gonna make the road so as at the bottom of that guys there's a big rocks that they are putting because uh, every summer you know this is the difficult here that every su uh, i know every winter you know because of too much cold can you imagine negative 60 negative 50 or negative 80 70 you know below that one you know the road is just like exploding so that is why most of the time the road is bumpy because of that because of too much cold that is why most of the highways here most of the road they cannot put the, you know the cement to make us a paid, uh, you know pavement because of the weather so it's really difficult to do like that so i hope you can understand me guys because you know i'm not really that fluent in english and i'm not really aware about all of this tracking i am just only following my husband but you know luckily that i can show you what's going on here along the dalton hall road this is very you know a very special road for all the howlers because usually guys you know this road is only made for the heavy howlers it's not for the cars anyway but right now because of the curiosity and because of the you know stunning beautiful scenery here along the Dalton Hall Road there are already a lot of you know trucks and cars and you know tourists that are coming here but you know all of them are welcome as long as you are gonna follow the rules and the law of the Dalton Hall Road and guys continue to watch until the end
this is the roller coaster as I've shown you uh, I will make it uh, you know on the, on the top of these uh, hills and for sure I showed you already how many times during the winter but now during the summer I want you to show uh, how it looks like this uh, roller coaster guys the road is bumpy there's some you know it's rough so it's hard for all the howlers if it is like this you know it's very deep it's deep i don't know how what is the grade for this i think it's about uh, 10 or 11 grade you know the the grade of this uh, road so yeah i will make it until the top so that you are gonna know that you know we can survive because it's really look like it's very deep but it's not really that deep as long as you know guys the road is fine it's uh it's not that bumpy but you know it's always because this one is uh, you know it's really hard to maintain by by the state camp so that's it so far and thank you once again continue to watch until the end as you can see what we have today yeah when you watch until the end you are gonna know side of the Atikun Pass guys, Atikun Pass mountain and as always 
here in this side they have always wet weather so right now it's blowing a lot we don't know if that is foggy or just uh, blowing snow or it's uh, you know it's snowing so as you can see right now it's blowing a lot the wind is very strong in this area but you know and the other side of the Atikon Pass is just fine it's sunny no problem there and in this area it's always you know have a different weather so every mile so we don't know sometimes in that air, uh, place you know it's snowing in the other side it's very sunny that is why here on the top of the Atikon Pass mountain that belongs to the Arctic Circle we have a very weird weather so every minute every hour you know you cannot uh, predict the accurate weather here and as you can see we are passing by in this uh, uh, blowing but uh, in order for you to survive guys don't stop just continue as long as you can handle your track you can handle the weather then you just continue because at the other side after uh, how many minutes after one hour there is no more uh, blowing so this is what's going on here right now and we are heading to good horse the Prado bay we are delivering today a super sack so well, let's see guys okay here we are now so in this area as you can see it's just fine although it's snowing a bit but it's not blowing so this is the weather here on the top of the Atikon Pass Mountain on the other side and thank you everyone for all your support uh, the weather is just fine and today guys I will gonna announce to all of you that we have a new truck right now this is a Peter Belt okay and thank you to the sponsor and of course to our Starlink we have the moving Starlink so for sure anytime I can make a live that is why I make a live in my Facebook page and of course it's very nice and it's not that roomy you know especially in the cockpit but it's just fine it's very nice in our bed it's uh, you know wide enough for four of us because you know aside from my husband and me we have two dogs so right now i am showing you that here in the proper good horse for the day where the drilling you know site <coughs> it's time right now although it's windy but it's not that strong so right now we are uh, proceeding to the place where we are deliver delivering the super sacks uh, you know we don't know that is i think something inside the sack so i will gonna show you guys so that you will gonna know uh, what is uh, the thing that we are howling right now we are not howling the fuel but hopefully next week so this is it guys this is in the in this area where we are delivering the super sacks you know it's heavy also it's just like a gravel but it's a color white it's just like a cement so i am showing you where is this one of course there's a lot of big companies here you know they are the one who's in charge in drilling the oil but of course that it turned out to become a diesel a gasoline the propane and whatever you know to turn out to become a product of this uh, oil so this is the field and of course the field of the oil that they are drilling and of course this is one of the company that also included in the drilling site you know in the drilling of oil so this is how it looks like guys you know there is a big fork that will gonna lift up and then put to the side for, to the place where they are you know uh, putting all the super sacks look at that one it's a very big uh, you know heavy equipment howling the super sacks yeah guys. taking out the sacks so that one it's uh, about how many thousand kilos so i don't know it's very heavy guys as you can see this one is a heavy equipment but only you know getting two sacks you know two sacks every time that he is you know unloading so this is our life this is our loading today and we are unloading right now of course and it takes for us uh, 15 
hours in order for us to come up here because of the road guys in the other side of the Atigan Pass mountain the roads is very sucks there's a lot of holes it's bumpy we are bouncing back so our speed is just only 15 to 35 I think the maximum is 50 if the road is just fine but mostly it's 20 to 15 that's it and God bless you all